Hey, what's up? Quick video on a wheel speed sensor harness replacement. I believe this applies to 2001 through 2005 GMC Sierra, GMC Yukon, Chevy Tahoe, Chevy Silverado, Chevy Suburban. Um, today, mine's actually a friend's 2004 Chevy Suburban. Okay, let's get all I'm going to need is an 18 millimeter to get the upper and lower rotor bolts off a screwdriver to destroy all these clips that we don't need because our new wheel speed sensor comes with them a pair of pliers to help aid that endeavor <laughs> and then I have a 3 16 hex head uh, for the wheel speed sensor itself okay jack up your car take your wheel off you guys need to know how to do that yourselves i'm not here to tell you um okay now let me get the caliper and the rotor off and i'll show you more poof magic that's how easy it is okay an upper a lower bolt like i said 18 millimeter there's a socket <laughs> okay um support your caliper you don't want it to stretch the brake line out they're pretty tough but you, if you're anything like me your luck is it'll break okay here's your wheel speed sensor sticking into the hub let's look at it okay on the leading edge so you need your 3 16 Let's double check because I don't want to be an idiot and three sixteenths. Okay, let's take that out. All right, I got the little hex bolt out, but I can't really feed it out because I need more clearance from the dust shield. So let's start breaking some clips because remember, our new one comes with all new clips. So the only one you really got to be careful about is, oh man, where am I? Right here the electrical connector where it plugs back into the truck, which is up at the very top of your strut. You don't want to break that guy. Okay, so here's my first one. I'm just gonna get underneath it with my magic little pliers. This guy Okay, here, let me show you on the new one. Okay, this guy, it clamps right there. So it's not one that you can open. So, I squeeze right here. And this is tough. One hand in it, I'm not one of them YouTube pros. Okay, so I'm just gonna annihilate it. Boom, the sucker's out. Okay, and my mount, my mount survives. Okay, next one. I'm just getting my little 90 degree angle pliers underneath it. You can use whatever you got. Use your wife's butter knives, I don't care. Okay, third one. I just rip it out, okay. Now, let's go slow and be careful. God, I, let me see if I can turn a light on or something. Hey, hey, technology rules, okay. So let's unclip this guy right here. Um, let me focus first before I get all excited. Okay, I'm just lifting up on this tab and pulling out. Okay, there we go. I slid the other side out. Now I'm gonna destroy this guy because we don't need it. You guys can watch me in action. It's like an earthquake, that's my hand. Get out of there, baby. Okay. That's what you're dealing with. Okay. Now we got this out. Now here's what I was talking about. I need some slack to push. Here, I'm going to look at it and then I'll show you guys. Okay, 
So now I'm trying to pull this sensor out of the hub. There we go. See down in there, this is the splines I was talking about. It's counting those splines as they rotate. Okay, let's pull this out. You know what I just noticed too? This end does not have a little washer or gasket. I don't know if they have to, but if yours has one, put it back. Okay, there's my splines. Let's see if we can get a focus inside there. There's the splines on the hub. Let's go back to my one that's out of the truck. This is a whole different truck. This is for a Colorado, but it's basically counting splines along here. Okay. All right, let's get this new guy installed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on the sensor itself to prevent this corrosion. See what's happening here? And I don't know if left or right is bad, so I already did the right, and then I thought, man, I should share this information. So this is the other side, but that corrosion can be prevented with just a little bit of grease. And ideally, you want dielectric grease. Ooh, let's just uh, chill here, I'm trying to... So I just get a little bit of grease throw it on that bad boy okay that's going to protect it from corrosion it's also going to aid us in in sliding it in and this little rubber gasket needs lubed as well all right let's put it in that's my boy on his motorcycle okay so i'm going to feed it through the dust shield give myself that infamous slack we were talking about Come on, friend. Okay, we have the slack. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just install this this way without that little metal uh, washer or gasket that goes around both those holes, and then I'll install it in a minute. But I just want to show you guys what we're doing. Okay, so it's gonna be important to get it flush. Oh man, my rubber's broke. It's gonna be important to get it flush, and then. Having that little metal gasket in between there um, will probably stop from getting weather and corrosion in there. Maybe that's why this one was so bad. So look at that. You just watched me inadvertently diagnose which one it was, even though I replaced them both. Okay, put my first clip in. Heard it snap. My second clip. I believe this has different control arms because it doesn't have a spot to put the... Put the clip in the control arm so i'm just going to zip tie it around here i'll show you guys that in a minute okay and then put the third clip in wait a minute didn't i pull this out with you guys maybe there is a hole there um god i'm showing you something that doesn't even matter huh <laughs> sorry I don't know. Okay. It doesn't look like it. And there wasn't on the other side. It's so corroded. It's got crap inside of it. Um, oh, so no, it didn't. Sorry. Unless it just broke off years ago and it's... Anyway. Okay. I'm going to zip tie it to the control arm. Okay. Third clip. Let's go. Third clip goes in. Jeez, I'm gonna, if I'm going to be sharing this, these videos, I probably got to get better with a camera, huh? Okay. And lastly, the upper clip. Okay. And this guy goes in there. <laughs> I'm trying to watch the video with you while I do it. <clears throat> All right. And I clip it in, make sure the tab's depressed, and bam, new wheel speed sensor in. All right, let's get that zip tie on. What's up, pal? Hi. Can you grab that zip tie on the ground over there for me? Um, sure. Yeah. 
Thanks, my man. Okay. Zip tie. Can't do it with one hand. Um, I'm going to put it around the control arm right here where this clip used to be. Give me just a second. And like magic, it's done. Okay. Zip tied around the same spot that the... I guess just for the heck of it, we'll clip the end off of that. Clip the end off our zip tie. Because we are... We are a 100% professional service, right, fellas? Uh, and girls, I guess. Okay, so, just clean that up a little bit. Okay. And, simple as that. I guess you could watch me fumble with the rotor, if you'd like. Okay, put the rotor on. Hey, pal, you wanna film? Or video? Yes. Okay. My boy's going to hold this. I am very good at camera work. Okay. You got the camera work. Let's get the rotor on. Okay. There's the rotor. Get our 18 millimeter upper bolt. I'm going to get it started. I wish this had retaining pins, but what is. Okay. Then our lower one. Buddy, can you come around here and get this just in case somebody doesn't know what a lower caliper bolt is? Okay, stick it in there. Okay. Here, I'll zoom in. Uh, yeah, don't, that one? don't zoom in. Nope, back out. All the way out. Okay. Okay, now, let's, here, let me see. I'll reach around, let go for a sec. Okay, there's my lower caliper bolt. That was awesome, huh? Upper, see it under the brake line, right there? Lower. Okay, 18 millimeter. All right. Okay. Here, we need you to watch us tighten these bolts. Okay, pause. All right, so what we did, just to recap, we lifted the truck. Okay, I'm not going to teach you guys how to do that. We took off the wheel. We took off the upper rotor bolt which was an 18 millimeter on these tahoes uh yukon suburbans we took off the lower 18 millimeter bolt slid the rotor off right then we used the 9 16 hex bit to get the wheel speed sensor unscrewed we broke this clip because we don't need it our new one came with one we broke this clip or did we? Maybe it was corroded off. I can't remember. You'll probably know because you watched the video. Zip tied it back on. Broke the third clip. And then we unplugged it up here. Don't do a bunch of zoom is in, zooms out. Okay. Okay. okay? That was it. That's as easy as it is. So the issue, the issue that the issue that you'll probably have is you'll get an ABS um, brake light flashing, pulsing, you'll get a heavy sensation when stopping and you'll feel the analog brakes chopping. That's what led me to know. Except we could never catch it with the code on. So my OBD2 readers never sensed that or never told me which wheel speed sensor. So I just did them both. They're like 25 bucks for a pair off of um, Amazon. You guessed it, from China. But um, <laughs> they'll probably last a few years, maybe more. Anyway, okay, hope that helps. Thanks.